Hello and good evening. Long time no speak after a couple of months. I'm here again with a special Titan thing. The idea was to use an external trigger, an external device, a push wheel or whatever, um, which outputs DMX and use this inside tightness trigger to uh, set a moving light to a special color depending from the level. So here I didn't use an external one, I use an internal channel like here and if I bring it up it starts with blue, then uh, it goes green, then it goes yellow and finally red or whatever you want. Uh, so this and if I bring it down again it goes the same way backwards. Here is how I did this. Yeah, I want to show you how to achieve something like this. So, disk, new show. Okay, <clears throat> first thing is we arrange our windows. We don't need the groups, we change the fixtures like so, then we open another workspace window, use our playbacks, should be here, but we put it here. Next thing is capture visualizer, open window, capture here, we put it here. And this should be it. Okay, next thing is we need some fixtures. Of course we need a moving light somewhere. Go to patch, go to fixtures, go to Roby, MX, or whatever you want really, it doesn't doesn't matter. So I use the Roby MX spot mode one and um, let's change the DMX line to whatever three and put it here. Okay, next thing is we need a couple of dimmers. So patch again, patch, patch dimmer. This one is our external trigger. We put it to line one address one and put it here. This is our external trigger. And then we need a couple of internal ones. You will see why in a minute. So we patch them to another DMX line, which is line two, and patch them here. I use five, let's say we create five colors. Okay, so next thing we need a couple of playbacks. First playback is to bring up the MMX spot. So select it, bring it to 100%, um, record, change record mode to channel, and record it somewhere on a fader so that we have full control on the intensity of our moving light. Okay, let's have a try whether it works. Bring it up, bring it down, cool. Okay, we can leave it up there. Then, next step, um, we need a playback with our external trigger, which is an internal ear. But of course you can use DMX triggers, I use SACN triggers here. So select the first dimmer, bring it to 100% and record it to another fader. Record and put it there. Finally the last playback we need, no we need some more. Um, let's use some playbacks to make the moving light colorful, like select the moving light, go to colors, um, bring up cyan, bring up, uh, not yellow, bring up magenta, 
Okay, this is our blue playback record. Give it a name, blue. And put it in the playbacks window. Next one should be green, like so. Uh, record. Ah, this was my mistake, sorry. Record. Name it green. Put it there. Then we use how to proceed. Yellow. Yellow be it. Okay. Record. Name it yellow. Put it there. Then red, like so. Record. Give it a name. Red and put it there. And the last one, white, which is all flex out. Okay. Record. Give it a name. White. And put it there. Okay. Let's try it, clear, and you know you the drill colors are LTP, so there is no release set, we don't need it here, it just works, okay. There's only one thing left which we need, is we need our control dimmer channels, only those five, not the external one, only the five internal ones. Um, Again, bring it to 100% and record another playback, which is this one. Clear, exit. Okay, that's all what we need to prepare. And now we go to the system menu. System, DMX settings. Here I have already patched my um, SACN universes, universe 1 to line 1, this is the external trigger. Then we have the internal triggers, which is universe 2 to line 2. Let's verify that SACN is enabled. I set it to output via wireless, because this is what I'm using here at home. Okay. And now let's set up the triggers. The first trigger is that our external one, which is this one here, should um, control this one here, which is the five dimmer channels, the five control channels. Okay, go to triggers, triggers, add a new trigger mapping, call it well, what, however you want to call it. Let's just give it a number, one, two, three, four. Okay, next we add a trigger. Um, to see what we are going to do is we can shrink this like so. And we see and we see the other handles. Um, okay, uh, press or move a fader or one or more buttons to trigger. We want to trigger um, this one. Which is button playback window touch 11. Um, change it to trigger type item. Mm, click there again, and we want to set the level. Okay, action set level. Um, change the trigger type to streaming ACN. We could leave the uh, universe and address here, but we can also check whether it um works it does okay you see the blue thing here okay this is the auto learn function we add this trigger next trigger we need is we need to make sure that um one of the dimmers controls a blue channel Okay, so we want to control the blue playback, and Q3 blue. 
but this time we don't do a set level, this doesn't make sense for color cues, but we set it to flash. Yeah, so I will select Q3 blue and um, trigger tag item, action flash, okay. And now we can do this manually, it's universe 2, um, address 1, threshold 1, add. To see what I'm doing here, let's change this to, uh, in the context menu, DMX address, show. Yeah, so the second one controls um, flashes Q3 blue and the um, and it is a trigger through SACN 2.1, which is this one here. Yeah, okay. So next one, Q4 green, still action flash, okay. Um, universe 2 address 2. And threshold should be this time, uh, let's put this to 50. And add. Next one, yellow. Still flash, okay. Address 3, threshold 100. Add. Then we use the red one. Still flash, address 4, threshold 150, and add. And the last one, white, extra flash, item, address 5, threshold 200, add. And Believe it or not, that's it. So uh, I open it again just to show you. Go to the system again, triggers, and here's what we did. We have our first queue where we use one external channel to control five internal ones. This is because each channel can be used only for one trigger, so we couldn't use one channel f uh, in order to make uh, multiple triggers with various um, distinct thresholds, so that's why I needed to take this uh, deviation and um, use one external channel to control four or five or however, you, how many ever you want, um, internal channels, and so we then use the internal channels, so the first channel uses SACN um, universe 2, channel 1, to start the blue playback, then we use SACN universe 2, address 2 to control green, and so on and so on, and you remember that we set them to different, um, to various um, thresholds. And now let's have a look, bring it up, slowly but slowly. Looks good. And now to make it even more interesting, we select our dimmers because we don't need them anymore. And go to wheels, visualizer, go to position and change position Z to an adjective value. So they have disappeared behind the back wall. Um, and the other thing is we open another window, just to have bigger failures, that's all, so we use the virtual failures. We can even go to the appearance menu and hide the buttons and the pages and set it to only five failures, like so. Okay, and last thing is we move our external trigger to this long fader. Exit, and now we see exactly what we do, what we have done. So it starts with blue. Next thing is green. Next thing should be yellow. Then we have red, and finally white. 
Yeah, and the levels are set by the thresholds. So that's what I was asked and this is how you can do this. Have fun and have a beautiful weekend. Bye.